Welcome to a What's in the Bag episode of Shock and Awe Tour Reviews. You what's may, in the bag? What? You may have noticed the props are reused from another channel that it may or may not be associated with. Uh, we're trying something new. So I've got something in the bag here. What's in the bag? I want to play. Chester Cheetah. What? Yes. I can't believe you bought this. <laughs> So I had um, it. The, actually, the the packaging is pretty nice. It's the like collector friendly stuff where sure. it's it's got magnets and whatnot. Oh. I had in the nineties. I think it was an eighteen inch plush Chester Cheetah. Okay. I've tried googling it since San Diego Comic Con, and I can't find any additional details other than eighteen inch plush. Uh, it's sometimes referred to as promo, and like I don't know what that means. Uh, so what? like my claw my, machine. My parents must have gotten it somehow from somewhere. Okay. But uh, it was plush. It had the sunglasses. They were like thin plastic, and it had these pretty nice shoes. I'm gonna say with like a thick hard plastic sole. Okay. I don't know. I I loved that toy, and so Jada stuffed animal. Yes. <clears throat> Yes, admitted. So I had uh, a plush Chester Cheetah when I was a kid, and Jaded Toys put out this last year, I want to say. And they had previously done the cereal mascot, so like Frankenberry, Booberry, Count Chocula. Okay. And I'm like, I hope they continue this because I would like a Tony the Tiger. And if they if they make Tony the Tiger, I will retroactively buy Chester Cheetah. So this is where we're at. Want to see it? I do want to see it. Are these bendy? So I'm probably going to heat the whiskers because they're not quite straight. And then hope that they straighten out a bit after some heat is applied. But uh, he's pretty cool, I think. This is insanely articulated. Yeah. What is going on? I don't know. Jada makes pretty nice six inch toys. They do. He's got the orange dust on on, on the paw. Oh. He's got one crunchy Cheeto as kind of a weapon, maybe? No, Crunchy's actually my preferred Cheeto. Do you have a preference as far as Cheetos go? Uh, Cheetos. Hmm? I have I have. I've yet to have a Cheeto that I, I didn't like, except for the crazy super spicy ones. So that is the new Chester that was revealed at San Diego. I think it's going to be glow in the dark. Like flaming red hots or something? He's red tinged. Look at the bag. That is amazing. So much detail on a bag. Does the QR code work? I don't know. <laughs> So it comes with a couple of holding hands. One of them will hold the Cheeto. I like Cheetos so much that I don't even eat the off-brand Cheetos. Like, I'm not... There's an off-brand? Well, okay. like, you can get cheese puffs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, like, we used to get the big plastic bottle or barrel of cheese oh, yeah, puffs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cheese puffs. Like, they don't have to be Cheeto brand. So, my, my mother was a fan of the original, the, like, the, the puffier ones, sure. kind of hot dog shaped. Sure, sure. Um, I, for some reason, never got into those, and I did for Crunchy. It's effectively the same thing, but somehow I like the Crunchy and not the regular. Uh, Fatty McGee doesn't care <laughs> either way. So I I don't know how deep I'm going to go in this. I'm definitely going to get Tony the Tiger, but I'm pretty happy with Chester so far. If I had all cared about him as a thing, he is amazing. I would want them... Like, this is the... I don't, how do I say this? This is the opposite of Pops. Sure. <clears throat> like, I don't understand why you would buy a Chester Cheater as a Pop. But this thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, if I cared about an ad <laughs> icon at all, like, you call me when they get the Hamburglar. Okay. And I still won't buy it. <laughs> I, would, I would think about the Noid. The Noid is on my tentative list. Like, but, yeah. Man, it kind of makes me wish they had 
the Sesame Street license and not NECA. Fair. Because I don't know of Jada Toy that has broke. Yes. Yet. Right. So. Huh. I am. The, the bag is worth it, man. What what toy do you have waiting in the wings? <laughs> I have Marvel Legends San Diego Con Death's Head. Now, I'm sure that you wanted Death's Head as the character. Do you care at all about the box and the nostalgia of the card factor? <laughs> so, you had mentioned previously that the, there was the box and card factor... And I didn't even know that the box was like the Marvel Universe cards back in the day. Like That's how little I paid attention to the box. Did you have the cards back in the day? I did. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I was... I'm sure you've seen them in the decades. Junkie. For the... Coming through the door in the comic shop. Yes. Okay. Um, I sold my cards so I can afford more toys. And yeah, I was totally in for Death's Head. I lost my mind when they did the Marvel Universe three and three quarter inch Death's Head. And then I um, lost my mind that they did Death's Head three, right? Two? Two? A couple of years ago? Three. No, two, 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 two. Yeah, yeah. Like, why would you ever do Death's Head two before uh, Death's Head? I don't know. Like, but I'm glad they did because. This is the uh, Colossus, I think, Apocalypse body. It looks very nice. And it is perfect. Bunch of accessories. Yeah, he comes with crazy awesome splayed hand. You want to take a look? Yeah. yeah. He's got more paint on him than I expected. I like the cape. He has battle damage on all the new pieces, which I was not expecting and some of the battle damage is even painted. Mm -hmm. um, the texture on the cape is super awesome. I'm very happy. The shield has paint on it. It has scratches on it. And the fact that you can combine the shield with the mace and the rocket and the axe. It's good detents. Yeah. It's not gummy? He's a little loose, but not gummy. I don't, he, he's very weird. I can't I can't quite describe how he he's not gummy. Like you can't bend his knees in the wrong direction. <laughs> but like there's a little looseness in between the detents. Yeah. That is not present. Does have swivel boots, which I know a lot of people are super mad about on Wolverines, but hey, we'll get there. Oh, okay, okay. But I'm super happy. I love him. But yeah, this shield where these can tap clip in mm -hmm. is awesome and like oh man there you go and now everyone can see why lockdown is just death's head and transformers yeah because they can't get the right um and i will totally as a bunch of other people have said when they do the proper green color one if they do that, which would A, drive me nuts because I would rather just have the green, I will buy it. But I know I will be happy because this figure is awesome. The texture on this cape and the fact that it has holes and is, yeah, just, I'm happy. Is that a deluxe price point or? Yes. Okay. And a San Diego exclusive price So. Pulse, yes. Pulse problems with ordering. Uh, not with him. Okay. Um, and one thing I do want to show off is that he is massive, huge. So I don't have any Voyager scale transformers, but if you wanted him to hunt down your transformers, I don't know. He 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 is in scale with Voyager, my old school Voyager. Old school. He leans a little bit. He does lean a little bit, but, you know, it is a Hasbro product. No! Oh! But, yeah, and, like, the spikes are super gummy. 
You know, one of those is bent. Yeah, but... And for some reason, I even like the fact that the attachments are a different color silver than him. Like, so they're actually weapons and not like, oh, I transformed into that. Sure. Um, the only thing I don't like about him that annoys me is that, like, his head is, cle- like, so flat and glossy that it doesn't quite match up with the other silvers mm-hmm. rays it's the only thing that like I went ugh what why doesn't that look quite right like it's too shiny and the rest of him's flat or something I can't can't pinpoint it. but I love that face sculpt it's, it is a different color but um, it it's minor nitpicks oh yeah so and what is otherwise it pretty awesome figure but yes i was able to order him first day went up no problems i was not or i was able to order him first day no problems after i could not get cobra commander a few hasbro that got sorted out day two day two i was able to order cobra commander for the people who needed cobra commander and other people and he was still available on day two when they put him back up oh wow so if you didn't get one, he's still available because he's gonna be a fan. He's a fan channel, so he'll come out. He'll come out later, like uh, Entertainment Earth and other places. All right, but yeah, I'm super stoked. He's great. I can't believe I'm sitting in a world where I have a Marvel Legends Chris Star, <laughs> Death's Head, and Rom is coming. It's so weird to me. And now there's Chester Cheetah. <laughs> Tony the Tiger coming soon. I can't wait for Tony the Tiger. That, that that'll be. I think he's taller too. He should be. He's great. Right. Oh. All right. New segment. Mailbag. Mailbag. So. We have a comment from all the way from DeKalb, Illinois. Oh. From oh. Model Kevin <laughs> says. <laughs> I watched one of your videos, and I sent along this masking tape because apparently you didn't like to mask stuff. Um, I have used this. Yeah. This is one millimeter thick hobby masking tape. I used it. Yeah. It's pretty effective. <laughs> so I had What's this. I had this uh, movie Wonder Woman laying around. Yep. And I taped off the arms, the neck, and her thighs to get clean lines. Uh huh. It's pretty effective. Pretty happy with this. So it is, because it's only one millimeter wide, I wrapped it around a few times to get some additional Coverage. width. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm not I'm a sloppy painter. Sure. Right. So um, then you peel it off. Clean lines. This is this is Model Kevin. Very effective stuff. That guy. I'm, I'm happy. Thank you. Maybe he'll watch this video. Maybe. <laughs> Is there more in the bag? There's more. There is still more in the bag. Not is this there, episode, is though. Is there more mailbags? Yeah, there is another mailbag. Oh, man. So I think that's it for this episode. Okay. I think. If people like the mailbag, we'll bring it back. <laughs> if people like this setup. <laughs> we're still trying to figure out what we're doing. Coming soon. As soon as some cleaning, I think. That's Berg's fault. Have I mentioned that I got my new table downstairs? No. Yeah, I got I got a desk set up. I've put comics away. I have oh. bagged and boarded comics. I have put comics in order. It has begun. Excellent. Like, subscribe, comment below. Say hi to Wilson wherever he is with his kids having fun, hopefully. 